Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. There are numerous giant icebreaker ships actively operating in the Arctic and Antarctic regions. Specifically, in 2024, this title is held by the ship Arctica. Besides Arctica, there are several other ships included in the list of the world's largest icebreakers in 2024. Here's the list. Arctica As previously mentioned, the ship Arctica successfully holds the first position as the world's largest icebreaker ship in 2024. Arctica is a nuclear-powered icebreaker built at the Baltic shipyard St. Petersburg, Russia in November 2012 under Project 22220. This icebreaker ship has an overall length of 173.3 meters, a width of 34 meters, and a height of 51.25 meters, providing excellent visibility of the surrounding environment and ice beneath the ship's crew. Arctica has a displacement weight of around 33,000 tons of water with a draft of 10.5 meters. Capable of accommodating up to 75 crew members, this ship features a helicopter deck and hangar to facilitate its aerial operations. Powered by a three-shaft nuclear turboelectric engine, the ship can sail at a maximum speed of 22 knots or 41 kilometers per hour while breaking ice up to 2.8 meters thick at speeds of 1.5 to 2 knots or approximately 2 to 3 kilometers per hour. NS Sibir In the second position, there's NS Sibir, another Russian nuclear-powered icebreaker ship. This ship is also built under the same project as Arctica Project 22220. Constructed in 2021 at the Baltic shipyard, NS Sibir has a length of 173 meters, a width of 34 meters, and a weight of 33,540 tons. Capable of accommodating up to 128 passengers and 53 crew members, NS Sibir is equipped with RITM-200 nuclear reactor engines. Thus, NS Sibir can sail at a speed of 22 knots or 41 kilometers per hour. Additionally, it can break ice up to 2.8 meters thick at a cruising speed of 1.5 to 2 knots or approximately 2 to 3 kilometers per hour. NS Sibir boasts comprehensive facilities including dining rooms, saunas, libraries, auditoriums, passenger waiting rooms, volleyball courts, gyms, indoor swimming pools, hospitals, and a helipad with MI-2 transport helicopters. NS-50 Let Pobedi The third position is still held by another Russian nuclear-powered icebreaker ship named NS-50 Let Pobedi. Initially named Ural, this ship was built under Project 1052-1 on October 4, 1989 at the Baltic Shipyard. The construction project faced interruptions due to funding shortages and the ship experienced a fire. Consequently, the construction of NS-50 Let Pobedi was completed in early 2007. NS-50 Let Pobedi has a length of 159.6 meters and a width of 30 meters with a displacement weight of 25,840 metric tons. The ship is powered by two nuclear reactors, two steam turbo generators, and three shaft nuclear turbo electric propulsion. 
With this configuration, the ship can sail at a speed of 18.6 knots or approximately 34.4 kilometers per hour. It's also designed to penetrate ice up to 2.8 meters thick. Capable of accommodating up to 189 crew members, and S50 Let Pobidi features complete facilities such as sports rooms, indoor swimming pools, libraries, restaurants, helipads, hangars, and music lounges. Additionally, an S50 LED Pobedi is equipped with digital automatic control systems and a spoon-shaped bow design to enhance ice-breaking efficiency. NS Yamal NS Yamal is a nuclear-powered icebreaker ship from the Arctic class of Russia operated by Atom Flot. Constructed at the Baltic shipyard, this ship was officially launched in October 1992 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. With a length of 148 meters and a width of 30 meters, NS Yamal is powered by two nuclear reactors, two steam turbo generators, and three shaft nuclear turbo electric propulsion. As a result, the ship can reach a maximum speed of 20.6 knots or approximately 38.2 kilometers per hour. NS Yamal is equipped with double hulls with a thickness of 48 millimeters at ice contact points and 25 millimeters elsewhere, along with a polymer coating to reduce friction. Moreover, there are water ballast tanks between the inner and outer hulls that can be shifted to aid ice breaking. Interestingly, the ship can break thick layers of ice while moving forward or backward. For each voyage, Yamal also carries one helicopter and several Zodiac boats for rescue missions. Victor Chernomirdin Next up, there's the diesel-electric-powered icebreaker ship owned by Russia named Viktor Chernomyrdin. Constructed at the Baltic Shipyard and Admiralty, the ship was launched on December 30, 2016 and immediately operated by Rosmore Port. Victor Chernomyrdin has a length of 146.8 meters, a width of 29 meters, can accommodate up to 38 crew members, and can be used as accommodation for 90 specialized personnel. To propel this ship, it requires four diesel engines and midline diesel electric propulsion, along with two ABB Azipod propulsion units. Thus, the ship can sail at a maximum speed of 17 knots or approximately 31 kilometers per hour. It's designed to break ice up to 2 meters thick at a cruising speed of 2 knots or 3.7 kilometers per hour. Weighing 22,000 tons, the ship is equipped with a 150-ton deck crane for technical work and has a scientific laboratory space of over 300 square meters. Besides serving as an icebreaker, the ship can also perform emergency towing and rescue operations, respond to oil spills, undertake offshore and underwater construction projects, and firefighting. Shirase. In the sixth position, there's an icebreaker ship owned by Japan named Shirase, which made its maiden voyage on November 10, 2009. Operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force, this ship is specifically used for Antarctic expeditions. 
Shirase Icebreaker has a length of 138 meters, a width of 28 meters, and a draft of over 9.2 meters. It's powered by four diesel-electric drive motors and two fixed-pitch propellers, capable of producing a maximum speed of 19.5 knots or approximately 39 kilometers per hour. Shirase is designed to break ice up to 1.5 meters thick at a cruising speed of 3 knots or approximately 5.6 kilometers per hour. With the capacity to accommodate up to 80 scientists and 1,100 tons of cargo, along with three helicopters, Shirase features a unique ice-breaking system consisting of holes in the ship's bow used to spray water and moisten the snow accumulated on the ice, making it easier to break. RRS Sir David Attenborough Lastly, there's the RRS Sir David Attenborough, which is actually a research vessel owned by the Natural Environment Research Council and operated by the British Antarctic Survey for research and logistical support purposes. Nevertheless, this ship, built by the UK-based company Camel Laird, also has excellent icebreaking capabilities. Launched on July 14, 2018, this ship has a length of 128.9 meters, a width of 24 meters, and a draft of 7 meters. Powered by two Bergen engines, two diesel electric shafts, and two five pitch propellers, the RSS Sir David Attenborough has a maximum speed of 17.5 knots or approximately 32 kilometers per hour. This large ship is designed to break ice up to 1 meter thick at a cruising speed of 3 knots or approximately 5 kilometers per hour. <laughs>